Okay, we're gonna fire to my left from Milan. This one. What's up, bud? Halloween, Halloween edition. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Did the Jets get fucked or they won? What happened? No, they're winning. Well, season's back. Yeah, Wilson made one of the best catches I've ever seen in my life. One of the most meaningless games you'll ever watch in your life. Uh, well, I think we'll still have a chance of making the playoffs. There's yeah. so many teams now. It used to be like four, now it's seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's get to it. What are we talking about here? A lot of questions about Holland out, All right. as you might have expected. Sure. I guess we just go one by one because I don't think I should read six questions out and then try and respond to all of them at once. I agree. But I agree with that. Jow said, if I'm downgrading Holland to get Mo, who would you recommend as a replacement? Are any of the more expensive guys like Kai, Ollie, and Dot worth a look? I already have Wood. I mean, well, what are you, if you're getting rid of Holland, what are you doing? You're getting Mo, Palmer, Saka? Yeah, well, not necessarily Threemium. I mean, I think a lot of people are looking at like Mo and Hol- uh, sorry, Holland and cheap mid, Semenyo, Rogers, any six million mid or something for Mo and any forward. And just doing that. And, you know, they're just having the premium mid they already have, whether it's Palmer, Foden, Saka, whatever. Adding Mo to that and downgrading Holland to another forward. Basically, think, the question is, who's the other best forward in the game other than Wood? Well, I guess, <laughs> I mean, it matters to me looking at the, like, because if you get Ollie, say, for example, then it prohibits you from getting a third premium mid. I mean, you could tell yeah. me that Ollie's a premium attacker. I don't, I don't know. Fine, whatever. Um, yeah, I think he I, is. I think He's you the should, same price as Foden. Yeah. I think you should be trying to get three the three mids, right? Like, why would you? I not agree be doing that the mids that? are better than Ollie. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think you need to play in, you know, the third mid, and you know, how much can you afford? Like, that is more important to me. I also love your Isak shout. Uh, Isak, he scored oh again God. yesterday or whatever it was the day before. Yeah. He's just great. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's still like, what does he have? He has Arsenal. Well, yeah, this week's bad. Yeah. I mean, at NFO is not great. At Palace great. isn't great. But, oh, you know, there, this was like the Liverpool. fourth best attack in the league last year. Yeah. If they come anywhere near those levels, it doesn't really matter what the fixtures yeah. are. Yeah, Isak's good. Dot's fine. They have a good run for a while now. All the cheap guys are good. There's a lot of good picks. A lot There's of good a really, picks. Yeah, I think... Basically, what you said is right, is you should think about your next move or like your next target. And that would decide what price bracket of forward you're in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Um, Jitterbug said, do you guys agree that Holland out might be much better after game week 12? Is Bournemouth, Brighton and Spurs seem more like teams that can randomly let up three plus goals? Whereas the game week 13 to 17 run looks much worse. Pool, Forest could keep it tight, and Palace and Villa can both play up to good teams at home. Hmm. Well, the, the biggest reason why people are doing it now is to have Mo cap. It's not really, that's really, if Mo had equivalent fixtures, then no one would give a fuck. No, no one, one would, would, do, no one would be doing this, right? So, um, so I mean, that has to be taken into account when you're when you're looking at it. But yeah, I, mean, I, I agree. I don't think the next three fixtures are, you know, like they're going to score you know, three or four goals in the next three games no. combined. Like, no, you know, they they I expect them to score two in all of them, two plus yeah. in all of them. So yeah, and that's why I'm not getting rid of Holland. But um, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I also think that the premise of the question is a little like you're slicing it up exactly the way you want to, like. When I consider getting rid of Holland, I'm including away Liverpool and home NFO in my, you know, theory. It's not like I'm only right. getting rid of them for the next three. It's just like a part, all part of the same run right. to me. Right. That's not that right. great. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with you. Where Two are you plus, at on getting rid of them? Do you, you're still like, yeah, yeah or no? Not or? About it at all. Um, I just had a not think about FPL much week on a week, but. Just yeah. what the listeners want to hear. Oh yeah, you know it's a lifestyle pod, as 
They know, <laughs> we know, everyone knows by now. But I mean, the live stream is almost like supplanted the Friday night lives for me when there's not a Friday deadline because the live stream is like really sinking our teeth into like team by team situations. And it makes me think a lot more about like my potential transfers. Whereas okay. I feel like part of my life now is just like all these questions about all kinds of different shit. But yeah, I'll probably hold them. Is uh, long story short, yeah. I'll probably hold. Okay. 